testimony about to give uh, and the matters pending before this court and this jury will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, ma'am. Okay, you can put your hand down. And if you'll just have a seat, and then make sure you pull the chair up a little bit, because uh, you're very light spoken, so everybody can hear you, okay? okay. Now, good morning. Good morning. Can you tell the jurors, uh, Ms. Good, uh, where are you from? Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Are uh, you born and raised? Yes. Okay. And um, uh, what do you do for work? Um, I'm a clerk. Okay. And um, do you live, uh, in a, does the majority of your family also live in the greater Atlanta area? Yes. Okay. Now, can you tell the jurors um, how you know um, or if you know a gentleman named uh, Quindarius Zachary. I dated Quindarius Zachary. Okay, and uh, could you tell the jurors how long did you date uh, Mr. Zachary? I don't remember. Okay, um, do you remember when uh, you and Mr. Zachary met? Um, kinda, yeah. Okay, can you tell me uh, when when you guys met? Um, I don't know the date, but I remember it was after a club. Okay, and um, do you and Mr. Zachary have any children together? No. Okay. And were you dating Mr. Zachary, uh, let's say back in uh, 2015? I don't remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see if we can try to jog your memory a little bit. So, uh, when you and Mr. Zachary were dating, did you ever uh, share a home together? Um, I believe so. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, did you call him Quindarius, or did you have a nickname um, that you generally called him? D. D? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, can you tell the jurors, um, through your relationship, um, did you, uh, I guess, can you tell them where Mr. Zachary was from? What part of Atlanta? Capitol Homes. Okay. And where is Capitol Homes? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Okay. And um, back in 2015, um, did Mr. Zachary live uh, off of Cleveland Avenue with his mom? I believe so. Okay. And um, can you tell the jurors, uh, did you have an opportunity to uh, go to his house uh, where he lived with his mom off of Cleveland Avenue on multiple occasions? Yes. Okay. And just to orient the jurors, uh, where on Cleveland Avenue, if you can describe um, did uh, they live? Um, I believe behind the checkers. The checkers? Mm hmm Okay. Now, during your time that you uh, spent in a relationship with Mr. Zachary, uh, can you tell the jurors, um, did you have an opportunity to kind of meet some of his friends or associates? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, did you have an opportunity to meet a gentleman named Antonio Sledge? Yes, I did. Okay. And what about uh, someone named uh, Shannon Stillwell? Yes. Okay. And what about uh, someone named uh, Jeffrey Williams? No. Okay. Uh, do you know, uh, was that somebody that Mr. Zachary uh, would spend time with, uh, someone named Jeffrey Williams? That's what he told me. Okay. And what about, um, had you ever had an opportunity to meet someone named uh, Demeke and Garlington? Yes. Okay. And um, were they, uh, any of the people we just mentioned um, that you had met, is that, did you, I guess, hang out with them often, uh, go to uh, restaurants or clubs or uh, hang out at people's houses with them? Um, yes. Okay. Now, in the time that you were uh, dating and in a, in a relationship with Mr. Zachary, can you tell the jurors, um, did you ever see him uh, uh, with firearms that he owned? Yes, I was with him when he purchased one. Okay. And can you tell the jurors, uh, when you were with him, uh, where did he purchase uh, a firearm? I don't recall. Okay. Um, do you remember... Um, when you were with him, uh, 
what kind of firearm or what the firearm looked like um, when you were there when he purchased it? No. Okay. Now, can you tell the jurors, uh, were there times, or uh, were you with Mr. Zachary, and were you aware uh, in 2015, uh, in May, uh, that Mr. Zachary was arrested? Can you be specific? Uh, in around May, May 7th, uh, were you aware with Mr. Zachary uh, when he was arrested? Um, I believe so. Okay. And um, do you remember a time that when Mr. Zachary was in custody, uh, he would uh, call you, I guess, through the jail phone? Yes. Okay. And uh, do you remember uh, that after one of the phone calls that you had with Mr. Zachary in September of 2015, um, you reached out to uh, ATF agents? Yes. Okay. And uh, do you remember, uh, can you tell the jurors why you reached out to uh, ATF agents or law enforcement? And because Queen Derry was wanting me to see why I was he arrested. Okay. And um, after that phone call on September 16th of 2015, uh, did you go and meet uh, with uh, some agents and detectives um, at the city of Atlanta Police Department uh, a couple days later? I did. Okay. And um, on September 18th of 2015, uh, do you remember who you met with? I don't. Okay. Uh, can you tell the jurors to describe for them, was it a man, a woman, was it both? I don't remember. Okay. Do you remember um, multiple people being in the room when you uh, were speaking with uh, law enforcement on September 18th? I believe so. Okay. Now, when you uh, arrived, I, I guess, to speak with the law enforcement agents, uh, can you tell the jurors, uh, did you talk with them about the, some of the guns uh, that you knew uh, that Mr. Zachary owned? I believe so. Okay. And um, can you tell the jurors, uh, did you talk with them about um, some specific guns that he shared or gave to uh, some friends that we've mentioned here today? Um, I remember the... I remember hearing it, but I don't remember it actually happening. Okay. So when you say you remember hearing it, prior to today, uh, you had an opportunity to listen to uh, a recording uh, of your interview with uh, ATF agents and members of the Atlanta Police Department. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. Okay. And um, when you listened to that recording, uh, did you recognize your voice? I did. Okay. And it's something that you listened to from start to beginning? Yes. Okay. And was there anything about that recording um, when you were speaking uh, that made you think it wasn't your voice? No. Okay. And do you actually, you remember, or do you remember actually going to meet with them back in 2015? I'm, maybe not the context or content of what was said, but you actually remember going to that meeting? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and during that meeting, uh, do you remember talking with and telling the detectives uh, that uh, Mr. Zachary had given a firearm uh, to Antonio Sledge? Yes. Okay, and do you remember talking to and describing uh, the firearm uh, that he had given to Antonio Sledge? Not really, but okay. Do you... In listening to the recording, uh, do you remember telling uh, the detectives that uh, he gave Antonio Sledge a small black handgun, the one that you were with him when uh, he purchased it. I do. Okay. And, uh, Yes. 